Okay, what's up everybody? It's your girl, it's your Jackson AK Famous, and this time I'm going to do a video about my reality TV shows, okay? Now, what's the first reality TV show that I want to talk about? Um, Love and Hip Hop. Okay, Love and Hip Hop, I just want to say that I just love Chrissy, okay? And a lot of, I'm not going to say that she's right. I love her because I think she's right and what she does is right. Because I don't. I, I, I'm not going to say that I think that it's right. I think it's funny. Okay. <laughs> I like when she whooped Kim Bella motherfucking ass, I thought that was fucking hilarious. Now, I thought she was out of hand when she whooped her because I felt like if anybody was going to whoop her, it should have been Emily motherfucking ass. Because if I was Emily, I would have probably, uh, you know, choked that bitch. That bitch and pulled out a box cutter and chopped up her motherfucking face or something. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I thought that it was so sweet how, you know, Jim Jones proposed her. Even after she had proposed to him, they've been sitting around living together, shacking up and all this and that. And, uh, you know, then Yandy. She going around doing all of this motherfucking talk. And, and then when Chrissy almost whooped her ass in the club, you know, Chrissy was like, Chrissy was like, you want to talk to me outside? Why don't you come talk to me outside? Yeah, the old scared motherfucking ass talking that bullshit talking about. What you want to go outside for? What you want to go outside for? We can talk right here. Listen up, Yandy. This is what she wanted to go outside for. She wanted to go outside for she didn't want to whoop your motherfucking ass in them folks' club. She wanted to whoop your ass outside because, see, Chris is a motherfucking lady, bitch. Okay? <laughs> Chrissy is a lady, okay, and ladies don't fight inside the club, okay, ladies gonna whoop your ass outside the club because she is, you know what I'm saying, that's the, that's the ladylike thing to do, I think, is to whoop her ass outside the club, and then, you know, now, then, then, what's her name? Chrissy was talking about how Yandy. Oh, I see you when they was in the club talking about how Yandy. I see you a colorful zebra and this and that. And the chest like a boy. But I ain't going to lie. Now, I, the one thing I can't say about Yandy. That bitch was looking fly for her motherfucking zebra skirt. <laughs> and her sequins top, her glittery looking top. She was looking fly now. Because I was just like, damn. You know, when, when, when you be seeing this girl all the time. You'll be seeing all that ass. And I'm like, God damn, girl, where did all that ass come from? But it all came out in that fucking zebra ass skirt she had on. Because I was like, God damn, you know, this bitch almost got an ass like Nicki Minaj. Like, where the fuck did this bitch get this ass from? It ain't, she ain't been having no ass like that. What happened? Like, what the fuck? She, I don't know, because she always be having no jeans and shit. Now, I just ain't never seen no ass like that on her. But I like the uh, outfit. But then, this new hoe, Erica, who the fuck is she? She's a non-motherfucking factor. That bitch, they just be letting anybody on love and hip-hop. <clears throat> they need to let me on that motherfucker. God damn, why can't I be on motherfucking love and hip-hop? God damn it, I love and I love hip-hop, okay? <laughs> Shit, like... I bet you one motherfucking thing. I bet you that I can make a better motherfucking rap than Samaya motherfucking ass. Speaking of that bitch, she ain't been on the show in the, in the last couple of fucking episodes. Because they must have realized that she ain't buy shit. Now, who really need to get cut shot is motherfucking Olivia ass. Because ain't nobody interested in her motherfucking ass. Okay. She done went and talked to about three, four different motherfuckers. Even her manager done told her motherfucking ass that she just is... Girl, you need to get your weight up. That's what uh basically what her motherfucking uh manager told her. Then the Erica girl, she got nerve enough to be telling somebody that that uh what she tell Kim Bella that she doing this for free and this and that. Bitch, ain't nobody even ever seen your motherfucking ass while you sitting back trying to down somebody. And I thought Kim Bella was ugly. Bitch, you is motherfucking ugly with your ugly motherfucking bony motherfucking ass. Bitch, look like anorexic ass motherfucker. 
bitch, get you some motherfucking meat on your motherfucking balls and then, and then when you gonna go to the thing, you wanna sit back and talk about Kim Bella so motherfucking bad. And, and you know what I'm saying? I, don't, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? A motherfucker be going, talking, 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 all that motherfucking shit. I ain't gonna pop off and hit a motherfucker just for talking about me and talking about my man and this and that. You know what I'm saying? She struck a nerve when she did that shit and that should teach Kim Bella not to be talking about nobody man though. But she struck a nerve with that girl. And Kim Bella wound up whooping her motherfucking ass. Then this bitch gonna call the police. What you call the police for, bitch? You started the whole motherfucking thing too, doing all that goddamn talking. Cause me personally, if I go some motherfucking well and I go to run in my motherfucking mouth and somebody whoop my ass, I ain't, I'm just gonna take my ass whooping and go on by it. You know what I'm saying? Uh. I will come back and try to win, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna be happy with no motherfucking loss. But I'm not finna start no motherfucking shit. You know that's some bullshit. Then when they at the party, you know, okay, then oh lord, oh lord, let's talk about Kim Bella Mama in this episode. Oh my Jesus. Kim Bella, now you remember what she was saying in one of those episodes that she hate her mama for not teaching her nothing and putting up with all kinds of shit from her daddy. And I'm thinking to myself, when I seen her mama, I was like, ooh, honey, you must hate your motherfucking mama for letting her come on the show like that. Kim Bella mama came to the motherfucking show looking like pumpkin head, orange fucking hair, um, with a fuck. From the jump, I always thought that Kim Bella was like Puerto Rican or some shit. Now, looking at her mama, I'm like, I don't know what this motherfucker is. Because her mama look a goddamn mess. And I'm like, okay, let me tell you something, okay? If that was me and I was on TV and my mama had to make a motherfucking guest appearance, I would tell my mama, look here, the camera's going to fucking be here. Um, <clears throat> First off, I'm going to pay for my mama to get her motherfucking hair done. Okay, and my mama gonna be looking fly. My mama is not. My mama wouldn't even want to come on a motherfucking show looking like that. Like really, her mama. And then she had the old school lip liner thing going on. You know when you have a <laughs> black lip liner. <laughs> Kim Bella, you know you wrong for letting your mama come out like that. Now that's a goddamn shame. It ain't no reason why your mama should have came out like that. Um. And what else I want to talk about on fucking uh, Love and Hip Hop? Yeah, but then, oh yeah, and then Yandy was talking about how what's his name ain't gonna propose to her. Ain't gonna, that's just gonna keep her for two years. Let me tell you something, Yandy. You wrong for saying that shit because you know what? Everybody know the gym ain't really gonna just hurry up and marry Chris. Everybody know that. Chrissy even know that shit, but guess what? Chrissy is happy. Don't try to steal somebody motherfucking happiness. You know what I'm saying? Let them be them. You know, even if it take them another fucking seven years to fucking get married, he love that woman. If he didn't love that woman, he wouldn't have proposed to her, okay? He would let her motherfucking ass go. That's one thing about that. He had to go spend now dime on that motherfucking ring and propose her motherfucking ass, okay? He do love her, but, you know... He just don't want to fucking get mad right now. But, so what? He love her enough to be on the motherfucking show and fucking, uh, say, hey, this is my woman. He love her more than Fab love Emily motherfucking ass because Fab ain't showing up no motherfucking well. Fab won't show his face on that motherfucker, okay? Talking about he Emily old man. A lie. Fab, Fab don't play that motherfucking shit, okay? He, and, and he act like he's some fucking superstar. Fab ain't no motherfucking body to me, but... Y'all, my big ass is running out of motherfucking breath. I don't know if I'm going to make another video blog today or not, but I just had to make these two video blogs, you know, about shit that's going on because I don't appreciate a lot of things that's going on in my life, and I don't appreciate a lot of things that people are doing to hurt people in my life. But all I got to say is to all the men and women who having problems, and baby mama drama, baby daddy drama, just keep y'all head up. You know what I'm saying? Because when it's y'all time, it's going to come to y'all. You know what I'm saying? God going to make a way for y'all. I believe that. I trust and believe in that because I trust and believe in it for myself. And people that's in the same situation as me or, you know, similar situations to me, just don't worry about a thing because... <clears throat> The, it's gonna be it's gonna get taken care of. This your girl Keisha Jackson. I'm out.